do justice. justice. <laughs> Let's use this definition. That do justice means that we strive to use only our fair share of the Earth's resources. <laughs> we know that's not the way it is. <laughs> I mean, here we have 20% of the Earth's population. Over a billion people scarcely know where their next meal is coming from. <clears throat> they have only the clothes on their back. They have virtually no medical support. And their only transportation is their own two feet. A billion people. <clears throat> then we have a larger group of people, about 60% <coughs> of the Earth's population. <clears throat> These folks eat regularly, but simply. They have some medical care. They have several suits of clothes. And they get to ride the bus. <clears throat> and then we have the final 20% of the Earth's population. These are the folks that we fondly refer to as the privileged people of the Earth. These folks have plenty to eat. They have more clothes than they know what to do with. They have a pretty good medical system, and they get to drive their own cars. And of course, this group is us. Almost everybody in US, Canada, Western Europe, Japan, New Zealand, and Australia. Now, you have to understand that my dear Rita is a fourth grade school teacher. So she says, Gerald, you have to give them a quiz. <laughs> so here's your first quiz question. We're talking about do justice. Let's compare these first two groups, 80% of the Earth's population, to us. What would you guess on an average day? What percentage of the Earth's resources are used by the 80? And what percentage are used by us? What would you guess? Maybe 50, 50? No, more. More. I'm sorry. 20%. Right, Joellen gets the gold star. <laughs> That's right. You just reverse the numbers. 80% of the people use 20% of the Earth's resources. And 20%, that's us, uses 80% of the Earth's resources. Now, I'm not suggesting that things should all be the same. We're never going to be all equal in this life. But this situation is not fair at all. That's why we ask people to live simply that others may simply live. The second life standard of voluntary simplicity is learn from the world community. 